Pipes are freezing and breaking across central and north Texas right now. And master plumber Roger Wakefield warns things could get worse when the temperature rises. The problem is once they start thawing, they're probably going to lead to freeze breaks. Then people are going to be rushing trying to turn their water off. So in this video, I'm going to talk about freeze breaks, your plumbing system, and if you want to come to Texas and go to work, hang around to the end because I'm going to tell you what you need to do right now to come down and go to work. Guys, number one, freeze breaks are killing us. If you don't know, we have been almost seven days below freezing here in the North Texas area. Wait till you see the... Why did this have a pipe leak? Why? Not just North Texas, all over the state, all the way down to Houston and San Antonio, they're experiencing freeze breaks. First of all, if your lines are frozen, number one, you wanna open your cabinets, you wanna create a way to help warm the inside of the wall up so that this warms up and thaws out even quicker. So what I recommend, if you've got certain areas that are warmed up, open those cabinets and help get heat in there. But before you do that, open up the valves. Meaning, if you're not getting hot water at a lavatory faucet, go open up the hot side there. The reason being, when that thaws, you wanna try to create a place for that pressure to go to, that way you don't have a freeze break. You don't wanna have a rupture, a bursted pop in the wall. Now, we've already ran into them here. We have gone out to houses that have had freeze breaks in the ceiling, freeze breaks in the walls. We have been making repairs nonstop since the freezes started happening. The reason being they would freeze up and then the pressure would cause a burst. So we've been running like crazy all over the state. I was actually on a phone call this morning with Lisa Hill, the executive director of the Texas State Board and Governor Abbott. They are trying to do everything they can to help make it easier to get plumbers to come into the state. Hey, this is Governor Greg Abbott calling in. As you all know, uh, one of the rising pressing issues that our fellow Texans are dealing with uh, is plumbing. And I know everybody on this call is working overtime to already help on this issue. What I need from you all in the next hour would be best is a list of any state law, rule, or regulation that is standing in your way to getting help to residents faster. Now this goes back to something I've been talking about for a while, maybe a nationwide license, a nationwide certification for plumbers. That way, when problems like this happen, they can come into the state quickly, easily, and help us get through these problems. So anyway, if your lines are frozen now, open the valves in your house, open faucets, open tub and shower valves, flush your toilets, do anything you can to give that pressure somewhere to go. Then open up the cabinets, turn up the heat, maybe even if you have a tankless water heater, maybe even get out there with a blow dryer on a low heat, try to warm the insides up. What you're trying to do is get it to thaw out slowly, but you also wanna remember, have somewhere for that pressure to go to. But most importantly, know where to turn your water off. And guys, look, there's a lot of municipalities right now that say they don't want you in their valve box. They don't want you or the plumber or anybody else turning off the valve at the water meter. My thought is it's going to cost you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars if you don't. Go ahead and turn it off. Let them get mad at you. Don't worry about it. They're probably going to understand. So the big deal is know where to turn your water off because if you have a flood, the most important thing you can do is get that water shut off quickly. Now, if it's on the hot water line and you know it for a fact, you can probably go to the water heater and turn the valve off. The reason being, if you've got a leak on the hot side and it's not crossed over anywhere, it will literally shut the pressure down. At least now you still have toilets, you still have drinking water, you can even take a cold shower for a while. But the thing is, you've got to know how to turn that water off. Once you get it off, that helps you get it under control. Now, if you've got frozen lines in your house, you've got certain areas, you want heat in those areas as much as you can get it. I know that we've been out of power here in Texas, where you've got water restrictions here in Texas, we're under boil orders here in Texas, and the gas and electricity prices are gonna go through the roof. But you need to take care of your family and your plumbing system. Getting those thawed out safely without burst is gonna be the first thing you wanna try. But say you have a burst, get that water shut off as quick as you can. As a plumber, the first thing I'm gonna tell you is look, if you can open up that wall and let us see exactly what it is. Remember, somebody's gonna open the wall anyway. And a lot of plumbers just use a hammer or a sharpshooter to do that. 
okay, maybe not the way you want it done. So you may want to draw out a nice little square, take a keyhole saw and cut it open. Now I will tell you this, give a plumber enough room to work. And this can save you time and that's going to save you money. That's why I always recommend to people, go ahead and cut it, open it up, see what it is. I've got a client right down the street that opened it up and she said, look, I think I can make this repair. More power to her. I want her to make it. That's why I teach people to do the things that I think they can do because then it puts them in a better position. So as your house gets to the point that it is thawing out, make sure you've got valves open. You want somewhere that, for that pressure to go. That way there are no bursts. If you have a burst, look, call your insurance company and call a plumber. Matter of fact, you may want to call multiple plumbers. We do not have enough plumbers in Texas to take care of these problems right now. So again, thank you to Lisa Hill. Thank you to Governor Abbott. Thank you to Frank Denton, the chairman for the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners. Here's the deal. Guys, we don't have enough plumbers, so these people are literally trying to help us get more plumbers into the state of Texas right now to help us make these repairs. If you're a plumber and you want to come to Texas, go to the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners website. Scroll down until you find the provisional license application. Get it filled out, make a copy of your plumbing license, make a copy of your driver's license, and get it sent to the Texas State Board. The reason being, that is who is going to issue your provisional license. You need to be able to prove to them that you're a plumber, that you can do plumbing, that you know what you're doing. You need to be able to prove to them that you know who you are. They're going to do a background check. Any good company that you go to work for is also going to do a drug test and a background check just to make sure we're sending people out into people's houses safely. So that is one of the biggest concerns Texas has. We want to make sure that the plumbers that get licensed and get approved to go out and work in people's houses, we're not going to have any problems. Now guys, I know that y'all have seen some of the freeze breaks. You've seen the news. You've seen water pouring out of apartments. It is crazy here. Do me a favor. If you've got pictures of freeze breaks, pictures of freeze break repairs, or you just see water pouring out of a house, flooding out of apartments, whatever it is, do me a favor, go over to my subreddit, Roger Wakefield Post. Post the pictures there. The pictures of the leak, the pictures of the repair, the pictures of the flood, whatever it is, pictures and videos, because we're gonna be looking at a lot of problems here in the near future. Anyway, guys, look, if you wanna come to Texas, reach out to me, give me a shout, DM me, whatever you've gotta do. Call me here at Texas Green Plumbing. We'll find a way to get you down here and get you licensed. I'll tell you what, our phones are blowing up. We are literally turning down 20 to 50 calls an hour. So there's room for any plumber in the United States not working right now that knows how to handle freeze breaks. Come on down here and get ready to go to work. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're a good freeze break person and there are tips that you can tell me that I haven't done yet, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know what are your biggest tips for people that either already have frozen pipes or they already have a busted pipe, anything you can do to give them any help, I really would appreciate it. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, and I hope you subscribe. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.